Hello YouTube. This one is for the uh, the amateur radio or just antenna. How about radio antenna enthusiasts? How about that? Because this doesn't necessarily uh, have to be uh, used for amateur radio. This can be used for CB or whatever. I don't know, but anyway, uh, this is a project that I've been working on for some time now, and I am making this video to re-inspire myself to pick the project back up. Like 98% of my projects, they are incomplete. So, hopefully, uh, maybe with a little feedback from you guys, and, uh, uh, well, anyway, hopefully I just get re-inspired to finish this build. I'd like to uh, get you caught up to show you exactly where I am with this. It's pretty cool. Um, I was building a screwdriver antenna and had the idea um, that screwdriver is also incomplete. But anyway, during that build, I thought to myself, why not build a screwdriver dipole? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm certainly going to give it a good shot anyway. And uh, I'll tell you what, if it doesn't work, it'll certainly make a, a good paperweight. Let me show you where I am. <clears throat> All right, what we have here is two... Uh, two 23-inch copper pipes, uh, two-inch copper pipes, sorry, 23 inches in length, two-inch diameter copper pipe. Um, inside, I have, I don't remember the length of the loading coil. Let me pull out my handy-dandy screwdriver, and we'll take a look. Looks like we're at about, uh, what's that, 15 and 3 quarters length. Notice the bottom half is uh, not threaded, uh, nor covered. There's a reason for that. That's about 1 inch. So if you're following this build, uh, leave that uncovered. And same with the top. Even though the top portion will be threaded, just start about 1 inch down. Um, what you're looking at here is half inch PVC pipe threaded at eight turns per inch and we are using a 14 gauge wire um, don't remember exactly how many coils we have on here but we have a lot um, uh, anyway so moving on you're gonna need two of these where in the world does one get threaded PVC pipe well I'll tell you um, I didn't do it myself that's for sure this this one here was actually fabricated in a machine shop uh, through a friend of mine. Um, if you don't have a friend that works in a machine shop, you could probably go down to the local plumbing place and get them to thread a piece of PVC for you. However, that they their uh, standard gas line thread, which is 11 turns per inch, therefore you're going to want to use a smaller wire than 14 gauge, perhaps a 16 gauge or smaller. Um, Anyway, uh, just a quick note on that, if you do plan on having someone else thread the PVC for you, be sure to purchase the PVC yourself from your local hardware store that sells a lot of PVC, therefore the PVC is fresh. Older PVC, I was told, tends to become brittle and breaks apart in the lathe. So, uh, moving on, once you have your two loading coils uh, prepared, notice I just Popped a couple holes, one eighth inch holes down the bottom. Started my coil there, worked my way up and up and up. Popped it through and then out the top. We're, we're going to stop there for now on that and I'll get into the rest of the build a bit later. Um, I also have acquired some copper uh, sheeting. Uh, you might find something like that laying around. This is going to become very useful because what this is going to do after I mold it around the inside of a two inch copper pipe coupling I'm going to cut little fingers into it. I know you can't imagine it right now but anyway those fingers will grab the loading coil as it comes up and out of the main mast section it will uh, be conductive and as a whip will sit on top we can adjust our length to resonance on whatever frequency we plan on doing. Um, I also plan on making a custom mount for it. What you're looking at here is quarter inch thick plexiglass. I'm going to cut out some sections, make a clear housing for this thing, 
and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for uh, the main mast section yet, I guess, to hold the whole antenna up, but we will figure that out when we get there. So anyway, I hope you uh, plan on following this build. I kind of hope you plan on doing one yourself. If you do, film it, please, and uh, send me a video response. I'd like to see uh, see other people's stuff. So anyway, with that, I hope I got you inspired. Hopefully I have myself re-inspired to finish this project, and uh, we'll tune you in here sh shortly. Uh, 73s.